played. I was a Hyrule Warrior streamer for a bit too when uh, the game came out. But, um, Ninja Link put me onto the game, and uh, from there, like, I just I, I got addicted. He taught me so much tech. There were there was like this way to do the infinite rupee glitch. I'm not sure if they patched it out of def definitive edition. If you guys have definitive edition for uh, Switch, <clears throat> please let me know. Cause that infinite. Oh, you have it. Uh, I'm. I think I hear a match going on in the back. <laughs> But hey, guys, don't forget about this giveaway. Deadline is May 28th. Meanwhile, yeah. uh, check out bit.tomori Kiri playing. Tomori uh, <laughs> Kiri is really just looking at this giveaway. Get that on for you guys in just one second. Momocon, man, back to grassroots. Mikamura versus Komori Kiri. Mario versus Sonic, the classic matchup of the ages. Can Sega do what Nintendo don't? The, oh, goodness. <laughs> the throwback, dude. <laughs> I missed that. All right, well, let's see, man. Mikamura right now playing him super safe. I, you could tell by him just, like, walking up to Komori Kiri and just trying to jab him, maybe looking to interrupt the side B as it's uh, in motion. So in transit, rather. Ooh. All right, so there's a lot of discussion on Twitter what this matchup is like, man. Don't ever ask Dark Wizzy what this matchup is. Don't ever talk to Wrath about this matchup. Oh, why? But Let me hear. Just no one agrees, man, but in my... In my humble opinion, I think Sonic, or I'm sorry, I think Mario has a hard time dealing with this character. Some people feel, uh, yeah, some people feel opposite. I yes. think one of the things, you know, everybody has their own opinion, but one of the things we can agree on are what tools the characters have, you know, against each other that make it hard for either side, you know. Well, you know, Mario, playing neutral, it's very, very hard to catch his character. He's going to have some of the smallest, some of the smallest aerials in the... Uh, like tilts in the game, very hard to, to, to catch him with the things that Mario usually takes advantage of, you know. On top of that, uh, he, you know, Sonic does have a way to get the combos with that upbeat. In bone. Yeah, right now Komori Kiri is kinda it's kinda chilling. Yeah, dude, this is this is how he plays Sonic. Very patient Sonic player. Doesn't need to overwhelm his opponent when he can just outright win, no back throw. Very pensive. I like I, I, that's one of the things I like about him too. As you know, Komori Creed doesn't like to go off stage. We'll just wait on stage for you to get back. Try to edge guard you from there. Well, I make Komori with the fair. Probably an accidental accident. Maybe wanted an up air. Like dash forward up air. Maybe just held for it a little bit too long. Got him. Look at that. He, <laughs> he turned around before he rolled. Okay. We have Komori Kiri again. Uh, oh, wow. It. In between the dare pressure? Crazy. With only 59% and two stocks. Yeah, there is a gap between the uh, second to last and the last hit of there, so uh -huh. you can grab him between that. Mikamura, looking looking like damn, I don't even know. That was not pretty. In his defense, though, that was not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Mikamura, he's gonna stick with the Mario. We're gonna go to Lilat Cruz. Alrighty. Going straight into it here right now, Lilac Cruz. You ever and wonder why? Uh, yeah. You ever wonder why this is called Lilac Cruz? Oh, well, so, did you know? Oh, I know. I know they're in the. I, I, so the system is Lilac, right? Uh -huh. Um, like, uh, that's you know all. The, so I'm trying to think. They're cruising around the Lilac system on this particular. <laughs> there was no. There was no secret answer to the question. I was just asking. No, I think that's basically it. Yeah. You know, they, look at it. You're, you're actually on a. You know, this 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 aircraft that you're on allows right. you to get a tour of Lila. Isn't it crazy, though, that in space, aircraft, or, you know, spaceships, they're called ships, and ships are boats, and they cruise on the water. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's, it, ship, it, it's ship, it's cruise, it's on the water. All right. Oh, a, so you're a space cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just said a... I was going through that. I didn't really have anything. I mean, I feel like <laughs> I agree with you, and I think I said what you said without saying what you said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you. <laughs> Mikamura versus Komori Kiri. <laughs> Things are not looking good for Mikamura. In yeah. the beginning of this first stock, where he has nine, almost 100%. Now Komori Kiri sitting pretty. Oh. oh, I like him going for a back air instead in that situation. Not bad. You know, you could chain those back airs a couple times. I've seen Ally do it. I play one of my favorite Mars, man. It's a good double air dodge to those up airs. That's all you can do, man. All you know, just move towards Sonic and throw out an aerial hope it hits. Uh, Komori Kiri is not going to approach Well, he's going to very slowly approach him. And you know Komori Kiri is not going to be making any crazy mistakes here. Yeah, look at him, dude. He's like, we good. 
Like, Sonic is fast, but I'm going to take this joint slow. It looked look like, at him. Mar yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looked like Mario got the hit right there, but uh, it was actually Murphy with the back air. I love it, man. Look at him. Okay, there's the run. All right. So I have to I have to make sure I hold this ledge down. We got to ledge trap my opponent in ASAP. Uh-oh. Flug on deck. Oh, no flood. Really down tilt instead. Yep, and now looking at this percent, of course, he's going to have to look out for the up smash for Mario. Has to be careful with the landing, and now you see him pull back, right? Yeah, that's why spin dash is a little scary here. Because he you know, he's going to jump after that spin dash. Yep. And then that has to find a place to land without getting hit by up smash. You saw that too, respecting. Okay, he waited for the option. He said sooner or later they're going to go for the up smash. Going to wipe the sweat off his brow. No longer has to worry about that up smash as much, because Mario has no rage. You know, because of this, yeah, not because of this, we're seeing Mikamura with more grabs. He's like, all right, if he's going to keep blocking, I'll just opt for the grabs now. Build up that percent. Mm, went for an up smash, even though Komori Kirby drifted back after a double jump from the side B before. That very slow play from Mikamura, like, oh, so smart. As soon as his opponent moves towards him, he moves in the opposite direction. He went deep for that one. <laughs> Doesn't pay off. Okay, hang it back again. No up smashes will be able to connect here. Yeah, I don't know if he's playing too safe right now. Yeah, he's like, that's cool. That's cool. I'm okay. We chilling. Pull back. Mixes it up. Goes to the left this time. I love it, Komori Kiri. The first two times we saw him just go back, right? All the way to the right side. Might as well mix it up a little bit. Show me Komori that, you know, he can't quite beat him. Yeah, I do want to commend Mikamura for being patient in this situation. Also, a lot of Mario players would get frustrated, run at their opponent, keep trying to throw out aerials and take more damage. But uh, he's playing patient. He's looking for that one opening. Komori Kiri, the unfortunate, the very unfortunate thing about that, though, is that Komori Kiri doesn't very often have those kind of openings. Yeah. He's playing so safe. They're both playing extremely safe. So I don't think either one of these players is going to find what they're looking for. Okay, as we have the back door set up again. No spring as, you know, Mario's up B. Allows him to get right through that. Okay. Wow, okay, so I like what Komo tried to attempt there. Up spacing the jab options with the forward smash, but it didn't work out. Okay, and we're back at it again. Yeah, I think the up smashes are going to start showing up again. Back throw. No KO. No snipes either, just going to chill. Doesn't even try to go for the ledge drop. Instead, wants to punish the jump option from the edge, but that last hit of the downer didn't quite connect. And it has really good knockback too. Back throw. Again, rinse, repeat. Let's see. And I like when you put yourself out there as the opponent's trying to drift back towards the stage, you scare them from drifting forward. Yeah, I gotta let them know, man. It's not safe to attack me out here. Yeah. But, man, let, let's look at this dude. Komurke still on his first stock, 145%. Even more has yet to find a way to Son. land one of his KO attacks. Oh! Like I said, last hit of the downer, and crowd goes yay. Komori Kiri bringing it down. Almost to a minute left on the clock here. Yeah, honestly, this, this, this hasn't really felt like it's been a long match. Yeah, you, you have to play patient against Mario, though, man. The understanding that Mario... What? You finally get an opening, but unfortunately... Yeah, forward throw. Mario, yeah, went for the fourth throw instead of down throw, which gives much bigger payoff. Probably another misinput there. The, the, with the nerves that you may have when you're on stage, you can't blame somebody for making a mistake, especially against a high-level player like Komori Kiri. Honestly, I think Komori's probably going to go for the uh, timeout here. 40 seconds remaining. He's not getting too aggressive. You know, he knows he has a... He can probably start looking for a KO attack somewhere. I think he's going to bother. 30 seconds left. Let's just... Oh, all right. I like the down tilt, but one of the things that allows uh, Sonic to escape these combos is that spring jump, as you saw there. I think, I think Mikamura has taken a look at the clock now. Oh, and realizes, yeah. oh, wait on a sec. I'm actually going <laughs> to lose this in 20 seconds, so I need to get a little bit more aggressive. Yup. Oh, boy. We're almost down to the last 10 seconds here oh, in this dude, game. At this point. Honestly, at this point, just time him out, dude. Like, why, why, why start looking for a KO attack here? Five uh, seconds remaining. Four. Oh, my. You make me sick, Koma. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sick. You're really going to just let the five seconds go around.